Holy Spirit with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm talking about a lot. Oh, well, I need to get more of that. Man, uh, I'm talking about the, the physical, in the physical realm, in the physical realm. You know, that may so I'm reaching yep. out to him. I'm reaching yeah. out to him, right? You guys trying to get a support network. Happy New Year to everybody. Have you ever uh, have you yeah. ever wondered yeah. that many a times when something very important is about to happen a stranger will appear from nowhere. Suddenly, from nowhere, an angel appeared to Cornelius and told Cornelius to send for Peter. Suddenly, from nowhere and from somewhere, an angel of God appeared. just from nowhere to Daniel. God never announces when certain events are about to happen. Tonight, Eternal Father, you have chains of protocols chains of the way you do things. We've entered into a new year. We ask you possess us tonight until the end of the year. Come and feel us with your spirit of direction and power. We have taken back this year. Before it started, we took it. We did not wait for the year to come before we took it over. We know that people on the other side did not even wait. They went ahead to try to rent, to lease, and to take over 2019, and we refused. By the working of your mysteries, you reveal to us what has taken place in the kingdom of darkness and in your kingdom. We ask you tonight to do what no human being can do for us. Reveal, create, restore, deliver, heal, Mighty signs and wonders be done at the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let, let me start by telling uh, Samantha, I totally forgot that uh, I needed to turn Facebook on for you, for you to watch this live. But you are going to watch it immediately after the broadcast, it will be on. Okay. Totally, totally, totally. I think it because the the smaller computer for it is somewhere else. I travel with that, I think so. It's not here. 
I want to thank to thank each and every one of you for being very nice, very good, very kind to our God and to Jesus and to the Holy Ghost and to the angels and myself and to each other. Can I assure you we have a very good thing going on here because of you, because of your kindness, your prayer, your generosity, your giving, your gifts, your tears, your struggles, and you are being steadfast at your jobs and at the same time raising kids. Tremendous, tremendous. I'm not here to try to use religious terms to try to wow you. I don't have time for that. I'm here to tell you that you've been a very good person. You've, you've proven that you belong to Jesus. Dorothy, I have not forgotten you. When you watch this program, give me a call. I want to minister to you and your husband and your children for 2019. A stranger is coming. A stranger is going to be sent to you. New Year's messages, you don't hear anyone talking to you about angels. It's always about what will happen during the year or what will not happen. But for the general public, for everyone who are part of my ministry, you have to listen very carefully. I'm not going to tell you a whole lot. For those of you who are going to be invited to the gathering of the lions, there is a whole lot that you're going to participate in for three days. Nobody is allowed to know when it will happen, when it has happened, or what, it, what was discussed. That's how serious it is. You can't even guess it because you won't be able to get it. But let's continue tonight. I have already made each of you to enter into 2019 since November. This afternoon, you did something mysterious, something powerful. When you announced that you are qualified, God has made you qualified for every good thing. So what we are doing is a little bit different from what other people are doing for the new year. Because it's something they do. This year is called a year of surprises. And it's called a year of Isaac. The year of laughter. Why? It took angels to make laughter to come. Even though God promised Abraham that he would give him Isaac that will make laughter to come in the family. Because in spite of all that Abraham had, his great wealth, there was no laughter. You think that you really have laughter. Many of you have not yet enjoyed life. You've been living paycheck to paycheck. There's no laughter. There's no happiness. And you've just been going along as a normal Christian person. Sometimes you trust God. Sometimes you don't even believe him. Sometimes you hate him because he's not coming true. So you play religion alone. I don't do religion. Although Christianity is a religion. Jesus is the focus and the attention. If you give him attention, he will give you attention. After all that promise that God made to Abraham, he took three angels to appear and they pretended to be passing by. 
And the spirit of Abraham went into action. He ran after them and said, Hello. Strangers, I am inviting you to come. Spend some time. It is very humid outside. Can you come and stay at my house? I will provide you food and shelter until it is a little bit better for you to go out in the evening without that much sunshine, that much humidity. Oh, they said, oh, no, oh, no. They said, come on in, come on in. So they came in and he gave them food to eat so that you know that angels do eat human food and human beings have eaten foods of heaven. While they were eating, they asked Abraham, where is your wife? That's when Abraham knew. By his own mind, not just by his spirit, that these are angels. That God was about to pass through his house without, he would have lost out. The promises of God would have been there. God can make you a promise, but it can take a long time for it to come to pass unless you do something about it. I don't know why, but that's how they operate. You have to do something to get something. God doesn't give out anything for free. That's how, that's how he relates with his children. And there is a place you reach with him that he then begins to spoil you. Every little thing God will do for you will be a, a, a whole lot. I am asked to tell you this. Since most of your life have been spent in suspense, distraction, destruction, sickness, struggles, pain, Disappointments. 2019, I want you to write this down. Write it down. It's not a year for you to work too hard. Neither is it a year for you to entertain, to be a comedian. It is a year for you to do the basic. Because it's part of what we call the year of the Sabbath. You do a little thing, money will come of its own. Do what? Your normal job. But something else is going to follow that normal job. Many of you will change jobs. Many of you will change location. I'm not telling you this because this is what we normally say during New Year. No. I'm talking to you tonight as a prophet of the Most High God from God, not in the Kai Mary. There will hardly be anyone who is a covenant partner with me, who wants a new car on a new or a new house or a new job that will not get it. There will hardly be any of your sons or daughters who want to go to college or any of you that want to pursue a baccalaureate, a master's or a PhD that will not get a full scholarship. But there is a warning. If you want any of those things to compete with anybody, you are not going to get it. Number two, if you are going to get student loan and you do not want to finish a four-year or a two-year master's or a four-year PhD, you're not going to get it. If your plan is to get money to waste money, you're not going to see it. God, let me tell you what's going to happen. Beginning from tonight, angels have been dispatched to participate in the physical realm. They've always been there, 
But I want you to know something different. Those of you who are coming to the gathering of the lions will know what I'm talking about. Because there are certain things I'm not allowed to say in public. That's why this year's own is different. There are certain things that I'm not allowed to give to just anybody. It's to those who will be invited to that gathering. Because out of that gathering will come the first million years. So that's why it's not for the general public. Those who are really going to support my ministry and our business are those who are going to be there. And you will be told the mysteries and the secrets of heaven for this year and the years to come. But listen carefully to what I'm going to tell you. There are certain money that has accumulated in heaven. Money. And there have been stocks in bags. Remember that the works of angels are not just for your protection. Remember the ladder, the stairway from earth to heaven of Jacob. And in that story, we learn something. Remember when an angel appeared to Daniel to bring him revelation. But let's use Jacob's stay away or ladder for tonight. He saw angels going up and coming down. That should tell you what angels do. They come to take things from the earth. For example, when you send a prayer request, when you send a prayer request, like I have, or you send me a card, whether a Christmas card or a New Year's card, or you send money, whether do you do it through the website, the two websites or the three websites, or you send it through the post office, or you send it through Walmart or MoneyGram or Western Union or whatever. Then I take your name and what you paid and I bring it to the altar to celebrate covenant service. Just for you. Your money and your love and your kindness is taken by the angels that walk with me. There's an angel that is stationed as a FedEx or UPS or United States Postal Service or whatever means of courier or postal service you have in your nation. That angel is stationed just to take things from this altar or the bigger altar down there or when I'm ministering or when I'm ministering to people over the phone or face to face, the angel take things what we are doing and report back to heaven and then bring back things from heaven to the earth. So one of the assignments that angels will be doing in 2019, listen carefully, write it down so that you don't forget this thing. Is that money will be dispatched because the sons of the other kingdom have been enabled over the years to have money for evil. Therefore, God has been petitioned to be involved in money for good. Money is going to come. Angels have been told to participate in money on your behalf so that you can buy houses, buy a car or cars, be involved in real estate business, start a hotel. There are some of you that will be going back to your countries. Please, I want to ask you something tonight. Some of you are here in Switzerland, in Norway, in Germany, in Denmark, in America, Canada, Britain, Australia, in Brunei, in Malaysia, Indonesia, different, different nations of the world. Listen carefully. 
there are going to be strangers visiting you, you will know many of them are not humans. They are super beings. They are angels. They are coming to act to open doors. Do not become stubborn. Don't become stubborn and rebellious this year, like you've been all the years. That when something good is about to happen, your rebellious and arrogant nature will shut it down. How are you going to know that these strangers are not humans? Is the extra way they are going to go to show you favor. Favor and peace in your heart will tell you that that bank manager, somebody has entered into his mind and body and spirit for them to be. These are the same people who are not kind to you or nice to you. They are going to be. The same bank that didn't want to give you a loan is going to give you a loan. But there is a warning. If you do not know how to manage money, you have to go and learn. If you do not know how to manage a business, you need to learn. If you do not know how to manage a marriage or a relationship, call us. If you don't know how to manage money, call us. If you do not know how to manage a business, call us. Because there are certain things that the Lord told me that you've been doing, trying to do by yourself, it has not worked for you. And you will be a fool to continue to do the same thing year after year because at the end of the day, God will abandon you. I've never seen what I'm about to see. And you've never seen it. Because your cry, the last seven years has come up to heaven. So God is going to participate in money with you. It's not a free money. It's money for you to be alive. And it's money for you to invest. If you don't know how to invest money, call me. I have Nancy. I have Roslyn. I have Victoria. I have many people. We have people in different areas of businesses in our ministry. We have Annie of Norway. She's a banker. Rosalind is into mortgage. If you have health issues, call us. We have people in every area of health and doctors. So you don't have any excuse. So number one, angels are going to participate in the sharing of money. Distribution of money. You are going to be tested with money. Because you have been crying out that you want money. So for the first time, you are going to see money. And what you are going to do, if you are going to be a fool, and you want to use that money to go on family reunion, you are going to buy cars for your family members. You are going to um, uh, give it to them to get married or to bury dead people. You are not going to see money again in your life. Because many of you are looking for money to buy clothes and shoes and perfumes. To get your hair done and your nails done. While God is looking for people who are going to represent him in the business arena. Angels are being dispatched tonight to follow you in the money world. Let's go to the other side.
a stranger is coming for you. And those strangers are angels. This is one of the years that angels are going to play more roles in the earthly realm and in the heavenly realm than they've ever played. Why? Because the intelligence of human being has exploded. The knowledge of human being has exploded. Computer literacy has exploded. The knowledge of the occult and witchcraft has exploded. Music and entertainment and fashion has exploded. The gambling business and the prostitution business, the sex business has exploded. Drug and alcohol business has exploded. There is so much manipulation in the business section that God need his kingdom in the midst of this. And you are the person he's going to depend on. So God wants to give you money for the world to know that he exists and that his son rose from the grave. Now let me tell you, if you are of the black race, and if you are of the white or Spanish or French speaking or whatever your race is, listen carefully to me. Walk away from your race. You know the reason? Because that your race does not hold the DNA for your salvation. A mixture is going to happen. And that mixture, listen carefully, is also going to happen in the political arena. Democrats are going to take certain ways of Republicans. And Republicans are going to take certain things from Democrats. So it's going to be total confusion this year. Because you are going to see Democrat Republicans and Republican Democrats. They are going to emerge this year. This is also the year that every leader that was set up to be disgraced, shamed, disappointed, locked up, put away, assassinated, will happen. Great men will fall. I didn't talk about women. Great men will fall. Please listen again so that you write down what you hear me saying tonight. Great men will fall. Kingdom that has been well organized will shatter and scatter. Stones will be thrown at glass houses. Those who sit on their throne will flee on foot. Mighty men who have been in power for so long will flee in the night. And while that is happening, that's when you are to take over. Lord, this is when I was born to take over. For example, some of us will take over the book industry this year. Some will take over the cosmetic industries. Some will take over the clothing line industries. Please, I'm begging you, make your heart pure. Make your motives pure. Stop conniving with 
people that you trust to do evil and to scam people because it's not going to work. Let people prove. Don't trust people. Believe people, but verify them. Taste them. Give people some years for them to prove what they say before you can trust them. Why? Because the strangers are now here. Now we can now go on. Now that they are here, we can now begin. They are here. God is not asking you to believe in invisible people. Because these are visible people. If you want to see them, if you are prepared for them, you will see them. Every human being who has succeeded in Bible times and as a real genuine Christian, not moved by money or politics, it was always God that came for them. God came for me, and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing today. I never asked for it, never wanted it. If you ask me what I want, this I'll tell you no. I don't need it. If you ask me whether to be a priest, a bishop, or whatever, to be a reverend gentleman, a clergy, is what I will choose, I will tell you no, I don't need it. Thank you. I don't like it. I hated it more than anything. Why? I like life. If you ask me what would have been my first profession, I will tell you being a lawyer and a judge or being a general in the army. Because I don't want anybody to judge me and think I'm worldly. But they came for me. And that's why they have to pay me good. They have to give me everything that I would have gotten if I was a Supreme Court judge or a general in the army. Heaven has to give it to me. If not, the quarrel will be bigger than the one of between Lucifer and God in heaven. Seriously. There will be no place for God and I in heaven or on earth if he doesn't give me what I want. That's the way I behave. There are some of my ways, if you watch me, it doesn't resemble the way of, uh, of somebody who has anything to do with Jesus. Why? Because I'm ordinary. But they live inside me. A woman called me. Her name is Maria. I don't know whether Maria from Minnesota is on the line. She's from Mexico. Mexico. She called me two weeks ago. She told me that um, they have told her and her son to vacate the apartment complex. I think it's a two or three bedroom house they live in. I don't know. They asked them to vacate. They sent them the letter from the court. The police was involved. She's smart. She called me and said, Prophet, she's Roman Catholic. She said, Prophet, let me ask something of you. Can you put a stop to it? We don't want to go nowhere. This is almost the end of the year. We want to live here until we move from here to buy a house as you prophesied some years ago. I said, okay. So I said, hold on, let me pray for you. Then I heard a voice said, remember, you are a prophet. Prophets do not pray. Prophets decree, proclaim, and releases, and create. I said, I got it. So I said, Maria, I'm not allowed to pray for you. I am asked to stop what is about to happen to you. They will come and apologize to you. They will send you a second letter, and they will stop the case. You are not going to court. The court case is closed. I close it here, and that's it. Early this morning, the office phone rang early this morning. Today is December 31st. 
She said, oh, they rode back to them. The landlord came by. The police came by and apologized. Exactly as you said. They've stopped the case just as you said. I and my son, we are sending you something in the mail as quickly as possible. I didn't. I just behave like Smith Wigglesworth. I just keep doing what I'm doing. Why? Because now I am in my office as a prophet. I'm anointed to be in that office. So if I curse somebody, they die. If I bless somebody, they are blessed. I don't struggle to do ministry anymore because God knows that it's a big burden. Strangers are coming. Strangers will come. It's not in February, but beginning now. Your job is to say to God, I am not going to do anything that will make who you are sending to me to leave me. Every nation have their own gods. Many people have their own gods and goddesses. Go and find out in the houses of people, Buddhists and Hindus. They have an altar for the gods and goddesses they worship. Do you have an altar in your house? We are going to have an altar kit that Victoria is putting together, Victoria and Mary. For you to purchase and put up an altar in your house. Muslims have some way in their house with their prayer rocks and their prayer stuff. And nobody goes there because it's holy. Same thing with Hindus and Buddhists. Same thing with Chinese who honors their ancestors. They all have it. How many of you have been to a Hindu or a Buddhist restaurant or business place or a store or, or a market? Don't you see the statue of the Buddha with incense and candle burning there? Do you not see it? Don't you see it in front of the stars you are entering? The thing is there. Is that not true? Yes. yes, yes. It's all there. Go into Brooklyn. Go into Brooklyn, New York. All those Muslims who have their little, little shops there. One of the, among the shops, there will be a, a, a room there where they go, all of them go there to pray. Is that not true? Go, go, go to Brooklyn, you see it. And Manhattan. God came for Abraham. God came for Moses. God came for Joseph. God came for Isaac. God came for Rebecca. God came for Sarah. God came for Queen Esther. God came for Abigail, Bathsheba, Solomon. Just name it all the way to Paul the Apostle. Except in a few places. He is the one that always came for them. This year is the year that God will come for you. Not for you to die, but for you to be alive. Because many of you, death is better than you being alive because of your sufferings. There will be major miracles of healing, signs and wonders in our ministry because I am in the office of a prophet. There will be major miracles. Some of you who are struggling to have an apartment, God said I should tell you to start asking for a house. And those of you who already own a house, you should start asking for real estate. There will be some of you that you are to say goodbye to some loved ones. Please listen to me. There are some of you 
that certain people in your families will be let go. So let me make it very clear to you. There are certain hidden people in your families. Certain hidden people who are behind the betrayal and sabotage and struggles. And they love with you. You give them money. Some of them are the monitoring spirit inside you. There are people, I'm just preparing you for this year. Some people in your family are going to die. So let me say it in black and white. Some people are going to go so that you can shine. Because you trusted them so much. But enough is enough. Their children have become great people. And your mother and father and you are still helping them. And they've never helped you nor your children. Enough is enough. So be prepared to bury some people in your family this year. I'm not talking about your children nor you. Next thing. Anybody who decides to do you wrong will pay a very severe price. And I'm going to tell you the reason. Remember what God said to the children of Israel. When I see the blood, I will do what? I will pass over you. From tonight, each of you is going to carry a mark of the blood of Jesus on your forehead. So whatever is going to happen, whether the stock market will start crashing gradually and the country goes back into recession or whether the country comes out of it, it's not going to be your business. This year, mark my word, we are not going to be involved in any politics. We will not mention the name of Obama or Trump or Hillary or anybody. Don't get yourself involved with those people. Whether Joe Biden or Mrs. Warren or whatever, whoever wants to run on behalf of Democrats, on behalf of Republicans, I I'm instructing you, this is what heaven is saying, do not get involved. Watch HBOs, watch movie channels. If you don't want to watch National Geographic, Travel Channel, BBC America, PBS, go to PBS and watch important things like Nova, Nature, NASA, all kind of go go to educational channels. Go go and watch go and watch Shark Tank. Go and watch Mark Cuban and the rest of them. Find people who who will develop you, who will help you. If you don't want to consult us, there are a lot of people out there. Don't spend your time talking about these people. It's a closed matter. You don't need to talk about them. I'm gonna tell you the reason. The reason why Trump will fail is that he keep talking about the Democrats and keep talking about Obama and Hillary. Because listen to what the ancient Egyptian says. If you call my car, then you keep me alive. Car, K -E. uh -huh. if, if you call my name, the more you call my name, the more you awaken my ghosts. And the earth will never forget, will never forget me. That's why the ancient pharaohs and their children build pyramids. They put up structures so that their name will never perish. If you call their names, you awaken their ghosts. You empower them. That's why I do not want you to call any of those people.
Don't talk about your ex. Anybody who doesn't like you, don't talk about them. Why? Because you will be giving them power from afar. You will be awakening their car. Talk about the name and the blood of the Son of God. Talk about it, Kai Mary. Talk about yourself. Talk about yourself. Don't talk about them. When they come to you, you are a black person, you should become a, a Republican or a Democrat. Tell them, I don't have time for politics. I have time for my business. Let other people call your car and awaken your energy. Those of you who are covenant partners and you want a business, you want us to advertise your business on our website, please let us know. God came for each of these people and stamp their names in history. We are still talking about Isaac. We are still talking about Jacob. We are still talking about Abraham. We don't even talk about Adam and Eve as much as we talk about Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, David, Jesus, Paul. Next thing, during this year, somebody is going to make it up for you. Something that has been denied you for so long will come of its own. There are certain things you've been pursuing, stop pursuing them and let them start pursuing you. Ha 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 ha! What you have been pursuing will now be pursuing you. Oh, I'm growing too old. Nobody will marry me. You've, you've just written your death sentence. I don't see how I'm going to get money to buy a house. You've stopped yourself from buying a house. There are some people who have been tied down in the world of the spirit. Tonight, the blood of the Son of God is setting you free. I heard this word. Untie him, untie her, and let him and her go. Because you cannot go into next year being tied down. We have dealt with the spirit of distraction and disappointment. You have announced that you are here and qualified. I am not telling the entire world how God will operate in 2019 unless for those who will come to the gathering of the lions. Because there is a way God will operate this year. But I'm telling you what he wants you to know tonight. There will be a lot of rebellion in countries of the world. Young people are going to rebel against their parents. They are going to bring down governments. Many of them will be killed, but they will bring down governments. As I have said to you, 
Strong men will flee on foot in the night. I'm repeating it so that you hear it more. Strong men will flee, not woman. Strong men will flee on foot in the night. There are people who think that their country loves them. But let me repeat, strong men will flee on foot in the night. I'll repeat it again, strong men will flee on foot in the night. Let me repeat it again. Strong men will flee on foot in the night. Thank you. I'll repeat it again. Strong men will flee on foot in the night. Let me repeat it again. Strong men will flee on foot in the night. Let's go to the next thing. Mm. Mm. Strangers will appear when you are not prepared for it. So while you prepare for things, make space for strangers. Don't trust no stranger, but make space for heavenly strangers. Because there will be times that things will be difficult and the stranger will appear and there will be no difficulty whatsoever. You see, this year is the year that I will make the, more, the most money I've ever made without struggling. And what does it mean? This is the year that you are going to make the most money than you've ever made. Hallelujah. There are those of you who want Amen. who want Louis Vuitton, Gucci, uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Let's go. Is it Pavda? Um Galine? All, all kinds of you 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 want the best. You've been envying people. You want the best. Because you are possessed by the spirit of Isaac. Laughter. You'll have it. You want to drive a Mercedes Benz. A Jaguar convertible. Etc. You will get it. You'll get it. You want an SUV? Yes. You'll get it. Whatever is going to take for you to focus, you're going to get it. Yes. Can I hear you say amen? Amen. Now, let me tell you something else that will happen this year, beginning from tonight. Many of you should prepare to receive apologies from real, apologies real and apologies fake, from those who have harmed you. There is a reason. Many of them are going to go to their places of power and they will be told to first come and apologize to you. They will be told that they've wronged you. This is the year that those who are behind the scene and making it impossible for you to win, this is the year that they will be betrayed, exposed, and jailed. Hallelujah. Any judge that was paid to turn the case against you, not only those who paid him, but he himself or herself will pay for it. Let me tell you something. 
But this is not sweet. Every year you've been paying a price for other people. Your family members have also been paying a price for other people. Your mother and father, they've been doing that. This is the year that other people are going to pay price for you. Yeah. You've been the one. You, you've been the one paying when you go to a hotel to drink or to eat. This is the year that other people are going to pay for you. Let me give you a little bit of a warning. If you are a woman that is used to men, running after men, dating and all of that, I'll ask you to back off. If you're a man or a woman who does that, back off, please. There is a danger. Because God is not going to work for you. You're going to become a problem to many people. So either you walk away from God and go your way. There are many of you, you depend on men or you depend on women. God is going to expose you because you've been warned to find a job or call me to get a good job. But you are refusing because you've made relationship your job. You are going to pay a price. I see a woman physically beaten, severely beaten. And you are in a hospital because you are not listening. You think that you are smart. God is warning you. God is warning you. God is warning you to stop making men your business. Let me repeat. God is warning you to stop making men your business. Because you will die in the process. There are some of you, you already know that you don't like the person. You already know you are using the person for a business. And you are asked to back off that your motive is not pure. And you are refusing. You are going to pay a price that you are not prepared for because God is not there with you in what you are doing. The aim of God at the end of this year is for you to celebrate. Because this is the year of Isaac, the year of laughter. And you are not going to mix laughter with sadness. Somebody and you yourself have agreed. And you've been messing up every good thing that has come your way. You've messed it up. We've talked about focusing on your plan. Have something that you want to achieve and stick to it. If you've never achieved anything, people have been laughing at you, never had a house, you never had a good car, you never had a good job, never had savings. God says, if you ask me, I will make it possible for you this year. I will also repeat this. There are people who knows when you receive a paycheck. And that is the time they call you to tell you about their problems. And you've been a good Christian. God is saying, I did not ask you to be that kind of Christian. Look around you. Has any of those people, when you have a real need, ever come to help you? No. Let them go. Therefore, 2019 is the year of exposing of your enemies. You are going to laugh at your enemies, finally. People are going to say that you are a bad girl. You are a bad man. You are a bad boy. 
But let me tell you, tell them that God loves bad boys and bad girls. Because you are no longer going to give them money that's going to make you a bad child, a bad girl, a bad boy. Father, I demand that every monitoring spirit in the bodies of these people come out manifest right now and come out of them. Come out of them. Everyone who took up a residence inside your body to use you, to monitor you, to betray you, to destroy you, to distract you. I send your presence out of your body forever. And I demand a punishment from hell and from heaven and from everywhere against them. There we go. Everyone who are occupying your life, anybody who has married you against your will, whether physically or spiritually or financially or materially, anybody living inside your head, come out now! Lord, I am willing to walk with angels. Maybe you didn't know why we talk so much about angels on a New Year's Eve. Because this is the year of Isaac. Therefore, it is the year of angels. Each day, beginning today, you must talk to your angel. Why? Because you were created to laugh. But people have been laughing at you. It is not you who is laughing. They are laughing at you. But you know what? From this day forward, you are going to be the one laughing at your enemies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> How many of you will be happy on December 31st to give a testimony that everything you wrote has happened to you. Is that not what this is all about? Yeah. This is not about protection. Many, many people run to church tonight because they want to be protected. This is not about protection. Why? You are already protected. Hallelujah. So this is about you getting something tonight. Let me share something you need to be aware of. Do you think God has stopped creating angels? Do you think God has stopped creating angels? Whoa. I'm asking you a question. Because nobody has ever asked that question. I've never seen it. Wow. Has God stopped creating angels? No. No, because he hasn't stopped making angels. People. There you go. That's why I love Victoria. If God has not stopped making people, why do you think that God has stopped creating angels? See, that's why you should come to this kind of service so that you get this. 
Tonight, you are going to ask God to make you an angel for 2019. That's what this service is about. Please listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. You are going to ask God, create an angel for me. If you, are, if you ask God to give you children, why do you think that you do not have a right to ask God to make you an angel? Oh my God. <laughs> You've never heard this before. That's why I'm a prophet. Hallelujah. Ask God to make you an angel. When God made a, 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 a Elijah, shortly after he created an Elisha and hid Elisha somewhere in the farm, when it was time for somebody to take over from Elijah, God told Elijah where Elisha was. He went to get Elisha. Is that not true? Why do you think that God cannot create money for you? Why do you think that money will all only come from your job? How long have you worked on that job? Have you gotten enough money? No. no. Did Abraham get all his money and wealth from raising cattle? No. Did somebody give Abraham wealth? Yes. Did Abraham become rich through his sweat and blood? No. Yes, of course. 20%. 80% he was given wealth. Tonight, for the first time in your life, you are going to tell God, you see, this year I've entered. Somebody must give me wealth. Because I've been giving people wealth. And I've, I have nothing to show for it. Where is Jay? Where is Jay, my sister? Wherever you are on earth, I'm not going to rest until God gives you your wealth. Nancy, the same thing. And the rest of you. Create wealth for me. Did Isaac make all his wealth through farming? Huh? No. Even though he became rich through farming, during farming, how did Isaac become rich? His father. His father. He took over all the wealth of Abraham was given to Isaac. Not to Ishmael. Who inherited the most of Jacob's wealth? Who inherited it? I... Joseph! Go and read the Bible. Do you know that Jacob went secretly to go and visit his son Joseph in the palace and secretly handed over 90% of his land and estate to Joseph? Do you know that? And to Joseph's children? No. He did not do it in the presence of the other kids. Oh. He secretly went. Go and read, go and read Genesis. You'll see. He secretly went. Is it Genesis or uh no, yes, Genesis. Go and see. He secretly went. And Joseph knelt and bowed before his father and said, Daddy, did you come in peace? He said, Yes. Go and see whether. Jacob did it to the other children. No. He secretly gave 90% of his land and estates and money to Manasseh and Ephraim and to Joseph. Not to the other people. You've worked hard enough. You've not become rich. Yes, God is going to give you riches because he sees your adventure. He sees that you are steady. When you stay on a job, it shows God that you are steady. It shows God that you want to pay your taxes. It shows God that you are a good person. You are an honorable person. It shows God that you want to advance. And when God sees it, then God will push somebody into your life. That you will, you didn't know that's why this year is about strangers, 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 strangers are coming. Don't look for them, they will look for you. Don't
don't go to eHarmony to look for them. They are not there. Scanners are there. Don't go to a place for, uh, uh, what is it? Those who are above 50 who are looking for love. Don't go there. They are not there. If you want God to give you something that is permanent, keep doing what you are doing. They will look for you. They will see you. They will come for you. They know where you are. Strangers are coming. Strangers are coming for you. That's what this year is about. Why? Because God is forming a new group of people. A new movement has started in heaven and on earth. Heaven is ready, earth is not yet ready, and you are to be the forerunner of the new movements. You want Jesus to return back? Really? You want Jesus to return back? When the sons of darkness are the ones having all the casinos, all the all the all the hair places, nail places, breweries, gas stations, clothing lines, perfume lines. Where are the sons and daughters of Jesus? Nowhere to be found. They are in church is praying. I don't know what they are praying for. When they finish praying, they go to the Chinese restaurant to go and buy food. Where is their own restaurant for others to come and buy your food? And you are a great cook. You are a great chef. You are there sitting on your butt. Nothing. Then you turn around and accuse people of being immigrant, coming to take your job. Who is stopping you? You have no excuse anymore after tonight. Let me tell you what God says. Ask me for money if you want to start any kind of business. That's what God says should tell you. If you are willing to start a business that you should ask him. And let me also remind you of the highlights tonight. Ask God to create an angel for you for 2019. Let me repeat it again. Ask God to create for you an angel for 2019 and beyond. Because if you did not know, out of ignorance and out of weaknesses and out of not knowing what to do with your angels, many of you, your angels have been recalled. When you start to see yourself in much difficulties and pray and pray and pray, nothing happened. Your angel has been recalled. You don't have an angel. That's why you have to ask God to create for you a new angel. Another thing that will happen to you this year, God says, I will tell you to ask him for a new body, but I'm going to ask for that myself. If you've reached the age of 40, your knees is giving out, your eye is giving out, you are into Alzheimer's dementia, high blood pressure, cancer, whatever is going to you, God said you should ask him. Before you enter the second week of January, ask God immediately to give you a new organ or a new body parts. And that's why you should ask him to create for you a new angel. Their job is to bring a new body part and put it inside your body. Because you cannot save, you cannot save a God that cannot save you. Please, let's put it this way. You cannot S-E-R-V-E, you cannot S-E-R-V-E, -E, a God that cannot S-A-V-E you. You get it? Yeah. You cannot serve a God that cannot save if S A V E that cannot save you. So God says, stop making me an object of worship only. I want 
to work for you. So that's easy. I want to work for you. That's how it is this year. I want to work for you. Listen again, let me repeat it. I want to work for you. Because at the end of your life, God does not want you to take him to court that he did not work for you. Do you know the reason why God sent Jesus? One of the reasons why God sent Jesus was that Lucifer looked at the father and said, what are you doing with that guy on your right hand side? Am I not supposed to be the one sitting there? What is he doing there every day? He's sitting on his butt and his butt is going fat. He was talking about Jesus. Is he not supposed to be out and about doing things like I do and the rest of us? You are already doing the reigning and the ruling and the governing. What is he doing there? And the father says, so you want to see what he can do. Then Lucifer came back. Why do you even need to create a new kind of things. He calls us things. Do you know that? Do, do you know that the alien world. Civilization that has come and gone a long time ago. Do you know that the alien world calls us things? Do you know that Lucifer and fallen angels call us things? Do you know that demons call us garbage? Wow. Do you know that? They call us things. They don't even regard us as as spirits like themselves. They call us things. What are you going to do with those things on the earth that you put there? Those crap. They can't even think right. They are slaughtering each other and God says, Is it not you that is making them kill each other? Then Lucifer says, Can they think for themselves and know that they shouldn't do it? Then the father said, okay, I know what to do. Jesus, since he's accusing you and sitting on your board and your board growing fat, you're going to the earth. The father had a secret meeting with the son and the Holy Ghost. Say, Jesus, go back to the earth you've created and humans that you've made. Angels and every race come and gone before us. Demons, the smart ones, they were all made by Jesus. And you know something? Do you know who created Lucifer? Let's go there. Who created Lucifer? Saint Michael. Huh? Saint Michael. No. No. Jesus Christ. Yes. Who created us? He's the creator. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. So you got it now. Mm -hmm. Lucifer was insulting the guy who created him. What a shame. What a disgrace. Go and read the book of Hebrew. Therefore, let all of God's angels worship him. That's what the book of Hebrew says of Jesus. Go and read chapter 1 verse 1. Through whom he created the world. Things visible and invisible were created by him and they are under him. He created angels. He created us. Angels are created beings. They have a beginning. The only three that have no beginning, no end is who? God the Father. Jesus who is cloned from the Father. Holy Spirit that is cloned from the Father. The rest of us. We are existing at the mercy of the Son of Mary. The Son of God. Jesus. 
And the guy that he made and gave a little bit of opportunity to save had the audacity to insult his creator. And his creator decided to show him that he wasn't smart. That you can cheat human beings, but you can't have them. So he decided to come in. And then, no angel has ever been sacrificed. I hope you know this. There is no angel, fallen or living angels, no demon, no alien forces has ever been sacrificed before the altar of God. So God decided that for all of time and space and eternity, a God will be sacrificed to shut down the voices and the acts of every being that rebel, whether human or spirit. So the sacrifice of Jesus is a sentence not just against all for humans, but also against demons, alien forces, and the fallen angelic world. After the resurrection of, in fact, after the death of Jesus, and when they saw Jesus in the land of the death, going there to show himself as the honor, as the one who created hell. Who created hell? Who made hell? Do you think it's Lucifer and his angels who made hell? No. Jesus dug hell. For them first. Hell was not made for us first. Because we were not yet made when hell was made. I hope you know this. Hell was made long before humans were made. When the rebellion in heaven happened, hell was created. Who made that prison? Hell is prison. If you didn't know it, Jesus did. So if you want to find a God or a man who knows how to torture people, Go and invite Jesus. He is a BBB, a big bad bully. That's why Jesus doesn't want to fight. That's why he sent the archangels to go and do the job. Why? Because if Jesus dare decide to do anything, the earth will come to an end suddenly. They have a way they want to do it. So that you and I we won't be affected. Everything God does, he sees us like an egg, delicate. We are very, those of us who belong to him, we are very delicate. He doesn't want us to be affected by all this drama. I'm serious. This is, this is why you should worship Jesus. This is why you should worship the Holy Ghost and God the Father. This is why you should cooperate. Ask God to make you an angel that will like you and like your lifestyle. Because there are some angels that were not made for you. They won't like your lifestyle. You have to ask for the one that fits into your lifestyle. And you fit into his lifestyle. The reason is because any angel that is going to be attached to you is going to bear your name. At least your family name and your name. Not just God's name, but also your name. They will, they will be a God's name, but they will also be your name. They are going to become part of you. So let me tell you something. When Lucifer goes to accuse their brethren, God doesn't listen to him. Why? He doesn't go nowhere. Why? Why? Because somebody has already finished the judgment. 
even though the judgment is coming, somebody has already gone ahead of them. Have you ever died for human beings? No. No angel has ever died. No God has ever been sacrificed to atone for human beings. We are the lucky ones. Please listen to me. We are the lucky creatures. Cows and goats and sheep are being slaughtered and chicken are being slaughtered for us and for sacrifices to, to, to demons. We are so lucky that God decided that his son's blood should do the last saying for us. Let me tell you, you are a very lucky person. If you didn't know it, know it from tonight. This is the year of your luck. You are going to be very lucky this year. Do not do anything to get yourself out of favor and out of luck with God. Don't do it. Why? Because the year of Isaac is the year that you are going to open the package. Somebody has been holding your package for so long. Some A stranger has gone and has brought your package. You are going to open it. It's the year for you to enjoy. Remember that Isaac struggled, fought with others, content, others contented with him. But at the end, they came to make peace with him. Go and read the life of Isaac. Many of you have been struggling about relationship. Ask God to look into the spirit of people for you. Everything anybody tell you, tell them, I know, I know, thank you very much. But tell God who look at the spirit of human beings to look for you. There is an eye that is following you. It is not the eye of Lucifer. It is the eyes of God. This is your year for you to open the package. Your gift has been hidden for a long time. The stranger is coming to take you to advertise you. Please stop talking about that you are becoming elderly, old. Old people are making billions. The stranger is coming to advertise you. The stranger is coming to put you in a marriage. The visitors are here. Just like I heard yesterday, while I was in the plane, we are here. <laughs> Listen again to what they are saying tonight. We are here. <laughs> Woo! I love it. We are here. You have not entered into 2019 with all kind of promises. You ask God for various things. And what did God give you? He didn't give you a thing. 
You know what he did? He came to you tonight and said to you, for 2019, we are here. I'm telling you, if you see the way that I feel, since yesterday that I was in the airplane flying back to Wichita, if you see the way I feel tonight while I'm talking to you, my goodness, nobody will be able to control me. If I was in a large gathering, I would run into the crowd. I am asking anybody who knows how to make something for me that I can play somewhere and be looking at it every day throughout this year. It should, it should say, we are here. <laughs> Yay! I am so excited because I know the protocol. The protocol is when you ask God for something, God will give you somebody. And instead of God saying to me, oh, all these things, I mean, he has told me all these things he will do for you and he will do for me. But at the end of the day, just look at, I'm just about to close and suddenly they are here. They say, tell them, we are here. <laughs> we are here. We are here, which means, you see, all these years, all these years, we will ring a bell and we'll tell you to cross over. I've done all this with all of you already. But look at just how God does his things. This is why I am going to enjoy this year. What I'll be doing, traveling, anybody who has a birthday, anybody who has a marriage, a wedding, invite me, I'm going to come. Why? I'm taking it easy because... They are here. I am not going to struggle to, to follow God. It's just going to be happening and exploding for me. Any little prayer I said become big. Any fasting I make become big. Why? They are here. They are here. Anybody who tried to find my trouble. Or cause problem for me. I don't need to worry. You know why? We are here. <laughs> we are here. Woo! Faith is easy for me. Believing is easy for me. Trust is easy for me. I don't care what anybody say about me, speak about me, do against me. You know what I know? We are here. We are here. Don't worry about it. Pharaoh punished Israelite. Punished Israelite. And one day, God told Moses what to do. Tell them to lay sacrifice at the altar. And we will be there. And that was all it took. And they came. And when they came, was it not the Israel? It was it not the Egyptian that were begging the Israelite to leave? The same Israelite that has been begging them, let us go. Let my people go. Let my people go. They refused. Were they not the same people? Now they were begging the Israelite to do what? To go. Why? Because we are here. The visitors are here. The strangers are here. Let me tell you, I am not going to live my life any second without looking at that thing. And he says, we are here. Anything I'm going to do, I go straight and begin to do it. Why? They are here. I want you to lift up your hand and say, God, I didn't know that you were this special. And I didn't know that I was this special for you. Just lift up your hand and just say, Lord, I didn't know how special I am. 
And I didn't know how special you are for me. <laughs> Lord, thank you that you've sent me the visitors. Thank you for sending me the strangers. Come on, begin to pray. Thank God. Thank you for sending me the strangers. Thank you for sending me the visitors. Don't you feel so good? I feel so good tonight. I feel like I am, you know, when people do crack for a whole week, they can hardly move, they just lay there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> they just lay there. They can't move. They just lay there. If you ask them anything, they say, Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. They can't move. They just lay there. Because they are in a different planet. Yes, we are here. Let the rest of the world, let them go and celebrate the new year. Let them go and shout happy new year. Let them go and do whatever they want to do. We are here. Here. You see, those three words, we are here. You have no idea what you are talking about. It's big. It is big. Now, stand up on your feet and say, Lord, because you are now here, I am holding your hand. You are holding my hand and I am crossing into 2019 and we are going to count from 10 and when once it is one, zero, and you say, Lord, I thank you that I am in 2019 with you. It has started. It has started big and it will end big. It has started with laughter. It has started with good things. It's ending good already. Come on, let's go. Ten. Let's go. Let's count. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. He's on. Three. Two. One. Zero. Happy New Year. I am in 2019. You are holding my hand because we are here. Woo! Hallelujah. Wish each other a happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. So, yay. When it is 12 o'clock your time, when it's 12 o'clock your time, all you should do is just wave your hand and say, God, I thank you. I'm already into the year with you. I'm there with you. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not saying good night to anybody because there is no good night. Go and celebrate. Goodbye. I will see you. I will see you. I will see you. We are here. This is the guy Mary wishing all of you out there in the world. Happy New Year to you all in the different countries of the world. Go and succeed. Go and succeed. Your success is assured. We are here.